Shalom. Let us say all praises due unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a lesson in regards to the black fur traders, or uh, I'm probably going to entitle it uh, the Cree fur traders and um the inuit fur traders all right because there's a lot of history you know um prior to esau coming over here our people was already uh doing a lot of trade you know um here in uh you know canada america you know and uh it's a uh, very uh, we have a very complex history, you know, and um, you know, because even this, this less, this one too, um, about the bass, were uh, expert fishermen and sailors from the southern corner of the Bay of the Bay of Bisca within the Portuguese. There were um, early arrivals to the new. Uh, there were early uh, arrivals to Newfoundland, Grand Banks, right? And um, you know when you watch, uh, you know that series, uh, the Vikings. You know, we were always, uh, you know, uh, here. You know, cause uh, the tribes are here. The ten tribes. You know, uh, you read Second Ezra four, Second Ezra is uh, stuck in. Second Ezra thirteen verse forty. It goes into that, All right? Um, you know, so there's uh, basically uh, after Solomon uh, died, you know, the kingdom of uh, of uh, Israel was uh, like was divided, All right? So we had the southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. And then the northern kingdom, right, which would be the ten tribes, and uh, we, there was many wars until the Lord who was got tired of it, and uh, the Assyrians uh, led the ten tribes into captivity, you know, in Assyria, and uh, you know, 722 BC. It goes into that, but uh, you know, I don't want to make it uh, too long. You know, uh, want to flow in the spirit. No, but this is a uh, very in-depth, you know, and um, you know that's why uh, we have to know our history, you know, because uh, we are um, sovereigns, you know, we're the ones who establish, you know, the whole constitution of uh, Canada. All right. The Constitution of Canada, all right? Um, the can the, the the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms um, set out these set out those rights and freedoms. It said that Canadians believe are are necessary are necessary in a free and democratic society, right? So basically, uh, prior, you know, with the whole. Uh, Con with the new constitution of Canada, you know, if you read about the Magna Carta, you know, we were already here, you know, and, uh, you know, Magna Carta, it's like, yeah. So lucky if I'm kind of um, all over the place, but okay, this is Magna Carta, Canada. The Magna Carta, or the Grand Charter, was created in 1215. It was the right, it was the first documented English jurisdiction to set the monarch was not, was not above the law. And it became the basis of for freedom, the, um, 
democracy and rule in the law in the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth, including Canada. It said the Magna Carta in the Canadian, in, it says the Magna Carta in Canada for its uh, 800th anniversary, right? So we are already here, you know, in the Americas, you know, as uh, royals and monarchs, you know, um, you know, like the monarchs now, you know, like they're not the real uh, deal, you know, and um, th like um, like that's why uh, you know, before uh, the uh, Queen Elizabeth II, before she she passed, you know, or uh, if you watch a lot of these uh, different videos. You know, she always says, you know, like the, like you always hear them, like them talking about the black nobility, right? So, we're the original, you know, nobles. You know, I come out of, you know, my father's line. You know, I come from that, you know, from that stead, you know, and, uh, you know, through my father's side, through uh, the so-called Anglo-Saxons, so-called Anglo-Saxons, or if you mean angel, you know, England. You know, and then uh, Saxon means Isaac, right? So I come out of that line, you know, Britain, you know, and Britain, when you look into it, the Hebrew, it means, um, it means covenant. It means man of the covenant or covenant, right? So, um, you know, then my mother's side, uh, you know, she's a Sephardic Jew, you know. I, I come from the line of like Mateus, the, the Costa, and, um, but gas court real which means royal court so i, I come from uh we come from royalty man and this and, and i know uh, my bloodline i go through uh my father and my mother's side come from royalty all right and um and i saw in revelation 20 and 1 and i saw an angel come down from heaven having the key of the bombless pit and a great chain in his hand all right so um you know, like the angels, Yahushai, you know, and, uh, you know, he had the, he, and he had, like, he had the power and dominion, and, uh, you know, you know, the pagan Roman Empire fell, right, when you watch the movie, uh, you know, Gladiator, you know, with Russell Crowe, you know, you know, like, we were being oppressed, you know, because uh, 70 AD, you know, is when, uh, you know, and it was already prophesied in Matthew 24 that, um, you know, basically like the siege that would that befall, um, like, uh, like the siege that would befall us in Jerusalem, you know, 70 AD. And, uh, you know, so uh, a lot of our people fled and went to uh, West Africa, you know, uh, North Africa as well. And, and, uh, you know, some of our people were held into captivity, you know, through the Romans, you know, and, uh, you know, and basically, uh, that movie shows you that our people were uh, very strong, you know, when you watch, uh, you know, like, Cypher, like, no, um, watch that movie, uh, guy with gladiator but the other guy um he's a gladiator right and he uh fought against rome right but he was hanged you know and uh like they were hanged eventually uh forgot the guy's name but uh yeah man so uh basically uh you know after that right basically uh the pagan roman empire fell then we had the five good emperors, you know, which they were Israelite, they were Jakes, you know, and then, um, then uh, you know, like Septimius Severus, you know, 193 AD, 336 uh, AD with uh, the Constantine, uh, Constantine the Great, you know, uh, you know, like they had like a treaty and basically, uh, they they set up the Roman Catholic uh, Church, and um, and they incorporated it with uh, a lot of paganism, 
you know with uh, you know ceramics and tamus and all that type of stuff and um, you know and basically we were in rulership for over a thousand years you know during that time you know um, from the good from the five good emperors you know and then um, you know Constantine the Great you know and uh, you know the Moors you know um, like Tariq uh, who was uh, 711 AD you know that uh, the Strait of um, that the Strait of Gibraltar you know and uh, our people were uh, fighting for power a lot of our people converted to Islam you know under um, the of uh, under that under Islam which Islam means it means to submit and under Muhammad under that religion all right so uh very in depth right? and basically uh we fell or uh he like Esau you know he fell or whatever you know and we were we had them in uh, cargo slave ships and or it's like a like we had them in slavery it's like a, we had them in slavery you know but um you know and Esau was uh he was destitute man he was uh, he went to us uh, a, a base state you know and then uh, and I and having a key in his but it's like having the key of the bombless pit and a great chain in his hand he laid hold on the dragon all right which would be in the, the roman the pagan roman empire it says the old serpent you know which goes back through the garden you know who uh like who deceived uh who used eve to deceive adam you know it's the same uh the same uh the same crafty man you know e which is the devil and satan adversary and bound him a thousand years and caused him to and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nation no more till a thousand years should be fulfilled and after after that he must be loose a little season all right so uh you know esau obtained his blessing you know he uh, got his manifest his manifest destiny you know and was able to uh, rule you know you know because uh you know because jacob he supplanted esau you know like for the blessing you know you go to genesis 25 21 you go into it but i'm not gonna go into that i'm gonna go into genesis 27 then I'm gonna continue with uh, the Cree, uh, the Cree uh, fur traders, and um, and the so-called Inuit or Gad, you know the Inuit, you know, you know, and uh, Ishakar, because our people were uh, were living, inhabiting, inhabiting this land that we call uh, America, Canada, Mexico. You know, Central America, South America, the Caribbeans, you know, the tribe was already here. Genesis 20, Genesis 27, verse 39. And Isaac was, Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy, so Isaac, you know, we know that Isaac's Yahweh shy. You know, so he's the one who, uh, you know, Isaac, you know, or Yahweh Shai, he's the one who has the keys, right? So uh, everybody comes into their lot, you know, and uh, we know that Isaac was Yahweh Shai, you know, like Melchizedek, you know. So uh, he's the firstborn of all creation, you know, of spirits, everything. And Isaac was his father answered and said unto him behold thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the and of the dew of heaven from above you know so uh, you know like they have the, the uh, you know the plane you know the plane um, you know which was invented by the Wright brothers you know like they had that whole uh, 
idea you know with uh to, to have a kite you know and uh they use that you know and that thus why uh you know that we have planes and all that you know that we're able to uh, go and travel you know anywhere in this world you know through uh the Wright brothers you know and uh you know and then uh the nasa you know like the nasa space stations you know and uh you know their satellites you know uh, you know and uh you saw you know you saw uh, you know like this is his uh his blessing it says the earth given to the hand of the wicked behold that it said thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above and by the sword shalt thou live and shalt serve thy brother right so yeah he, he, like esau is the man who uh who lives by the sword man you know like uh you know like samuel de champlain you know or um samuel de champlain you know he uh you know he came you know and under he came with Matthias da costa he was a he was an interpreter and basically um you know i don't know what happened to Matthias da costa but he was there for a while but um uh, eventually uh he he came and he learned our ways our root you know everything and uh he was a, a bloody man man and shot shot down our people man with the gun you know and uh so we know that esau you know that he's a. Uh, we know that you know esau or cain you know cain means uh means weapon you know he's a man who uh lives by the by the gun by the weapon you know, you know? and uh thou and by the sword shalt thou live and thou shalt serve thy brother right so esau is the end of the world jacob's beginning of it that followed and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck right so yeah so you know like we're we're like we're in this yoke right now but the heavenly father he's gonna he's gonna get that yoke from off our, our neck man all right and esau hated jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him and esau said the days of mourning for my father are at hand then will i slay my brother jacob i'm gonna get uh like deuteronomy or i'm gonna get genesis 49 and then deuteronomy all right and then i'm gonna continue to this lesson all right because everything is uh already written all right so uh you know we were ruling you know uh you know you know uh, like the united kingdom you know and uh going to uh upper canada and lower canada you know we were here you know the so-called black loyalists you know like that was us and um uh, when you read about uh you know like king george you know like you know like they're negroes you know but they're very fair king george the third was a negro right but it says uh was the britain was this britain's first black queen queen right no there was many all right and um you know because you know because this is how he actually was you know and i believe uh he died 1872 all right and uh her line goes all the way her like she's uh her her like her her line goes back to uh the queen elizabeth no queen victoria you know goes to that so uh her people were uh, still in power but uh, eventually uh what happened esau got his blessing all right, and uh, through uh, through uh, 
Meyer Amchal Bauer goes into that Slovakia. So the, the Rothschild family control every central bank in the world? Yeah, they do. All right, and uh, they obtain this this wealth, you know, by uh, you know through uh, you know from World War One, World War Two, you know, and even before, um, you know, um, to believe with the I, I believe with Napoleon, you know, I'm gonna uh, read this. You, this is a very good uh, thing. You could read this. It said that the Rothschild family control the, every central bank in the world. Yeah, and they pretty much do. All right. Um, it says. Um, I allowed there a certain romance associated with the Baron. Baron Rothschilds, right? And we know that um, on that Rothschild means Red Shield, right? Because the original or like or like their name is really Bauer, right? Which I believe is peasant or uh, or uh, servant, right? Who have uh, certain nearby for a lot of uh, like significant historical events, fam. Uh, it says uh, familiar on um, that tendencies on um, that toward on um, that secrecies. Uh, so look, yeah, this is the main point. It said the family business got going in the late 1700 in uh, Frankfurt, which would believe that that's in Germany or Belgium, in that region, where uh, one. Where where one Mayor Amchal Bauer or Rothschild, right? Because uh, processed from dealing coins, right? So they were uh, uh, traders, you know, of uh, coins, you know, and silver and gold, right? You know, um, that um, that that was uh, his craft, right? And um, we're gonna to continue to read, and uh, an antique to antique to providing like financial services for local, like like for local power brokers, mostly most be notably like on uh, local um local power brokers. So let me get some water. So It said mostly notable crowns, Prince William of uh, Heiser or uh, or Castle. All right, so uh, he had a lot of he, you know, he was a he was a lender, right, and he was lending it to uh, like a lot of the crowns, you know, over there, um, you know, in Germany and you know, in Britain, and uh, and we're gonna continue to read. In a short order, Mayor Meyer Amchal, right, it says, um, dispatch his sons to the great cities of Europe, London, Paris, Venice, and Naples, where they set up shop, right? And basically, um, like this is how they, and they're still obtaining their wealth, their power, right? And, um, you know, they're a syndicate. No, and they work together, you know, and this is what they do. They uh, press our people, you know, and, uh, you know, by any means necessary, man. It says, uh, this being, and, um, you know, it's a good movie to watch too with Eddie Murphy, um, at Trading Places, you know, goes into that. This is, uh, you know, because that's is that, you know, like we're living in it. You know, even though a lot of our people sold out, you know, our people are in bed, you know, with, um, you know, with the Roman Catholic Church, the, 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 the false prophet. 
you know and um you know and also to uh you know with uh the natives you know with uh you know some of these reserves you know they have casinos and you know they have a lot of uh you know they already sold out you know certain of uh, uh the leaders of our people man the leaders of our people have uh um, I find it, but uh, I'm just uh, paraphrasing it. It says, uh, it says the leaders of of our people cause our people to to err. It says uh, the Rothschild found great success lending money to various governments of Europe. All right, so you know, like that's why they have um, the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, you know, which is run by uh, these guys, you know, and. Uh, and a whole lot of uh, so-called Amalekite fa uh, families, Jewish families, right, who uh, needed the break to fund their unending uh, wars with one another, right. So uh, this is pretty much. You now this is a very good uh, article. All right, so does the Rothschild family control every central bank in the world? And they do, you know. So look, yeah. So look, I have a lot of, you know. So let's just go to the main uh, point. It says the Ojibwe language, right? So the Ojibwe, they're the Creek, you know, which are uh, Reuben. You know, throughout uh, Canada and America, right? Well, uh, Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get the scripture Genesis 49 and uh, I think because basically, uh, you know, the RCMP, the uh, or the North West Mountain Police, you know, uh, they're involved in a lot of uh, things, you know, and uh, you no, know, and like they. Uh, uh, they control the whole uh, Northwest Territories, the whole of Canada, right? Goes into that. But, um. It's like, yeah. Yes, it's the Dominion Police, right? So, uh, was the Federal Police Force, it says Force of Canada between 1868 and uh, 1920, right? And uh, was one of the, one of the most, one of the predecessors of the Roman, of the Royal Canadian Mountain Police, right? And uh, basically, uh, you know all these police forces and stuff uh you know they're uh amalekites who run it you know you know through uh, their central banks and who who are uh who are like who uh who run this you know you know uh, that's why i just uh brought out that article about uh, mayor i'm you know, these are the guys who uh run the shots you know and uh, they did a lot of injustice to our people man all right and i'm gonna get the scripture genesis 49 and uh you know but these guys they're involved in a lot of stuff this is uh this is uh genesis 49 it's a providing on that bodyguards for government leaders Carrying out secret services, secret ser service work, uh, arising from activities of final raids, um, enforcing certain federal laws such as those 
that relating to um, the counterfeiting and human trafficking, right? And that's what goes on, you know. Here in Canada, a lot of uh, our people's going missing, you know. Uh, you know, Gad, you know, and, uh, you know, Ruben, you know, you know, Ishakar, you know, this is what this society is about, you know, to uh, oppress Jake, oppress Jacob. Right, Genesis 49 and uh, 19. Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome him at the last, right? So uh, through, uh, you know, the Royal Canadian or uh, the Mounties, all right, um, the Northwest, uh, yeah, uh, like the Northwest, uh, uh, I'm like the Northwest Mountain Police, you know, the RCMP, you know, um, the American Cavalry, you know, um, uh, watch this, this, uh, watch this movie, uh, it's called Navajo Joe. All right, it goes into that. If I could, uh, I'm gonna share this link in the description. I'm not gonna play it. All right, this is very good. Uh, most offensive Western movie ever, right? Cause our people was being scalped. You know? So, um, you know, and I, like, I'm gonna get that, it's lucky. Yeah. It's lucky if I'm kind of all over the place because I have a lot of uh, tabs that uh, I got. It's lucky. Yeah. It's lucky. Yeah. One second. yeah yeah this is the red skin bounty right so uh there was a bounty on uh our people's head you know with uh his so-called uh you know judah benjamin levi who was already hit who came you know through uh, the transatlantic slave trade or our people who you know on and like some of our people who already been here prior you know and there was bounty on our people's head you know says the term redskin was in fact used in like in uh, congestion with the scalp of hunting in the 19th century in 1861 in uh in wyoming minus um minnesota newspaper it said the nearly it said the Daily Republic. It says uh, it, it says the Daily Republican printed an, an announce announcement. The state word for uh, for dead Indian has been uh, increased to uh, twenty per, or two hundred dollars for every red skin sent to the, sent to perjury. Right, so uh, you know we were basically executed. You know we, we see you. Would, you know they would uh, skin our people. You know and they will purge. You know they will purge our people. You know and these are the same people um, who's gonna be purging our people with uh, you know with the whole purge law in, in Illinois. You know because a lot of these. Uh, these wild niggas in uh, Illinois, you know, who's out here uh, killing our people, you know, killing themselves, you know, there's not gonna like uh, that. There's gonna be no uh, bill. Like you won't have no cash bill, you know. So uh, basically, uh, you know, like there, you know, like this system is basically to make money, you know, through. Uh, you know basically you know like through the prison industrial complex and everything man
Yeah, the troops shall overcome him, but he sh but he shall overcome him at the last. Right, and we're approaching that time, man. We're approaching that time. When I read the translation, it says uh, the NKJV. Gad, a troop shall tramp upon him, but he shall triumph him at the last. Right. So, you know, so that's when you know the elect, you know, are gonna. Um, you know are gonna triumph you know over you know th these people who oppressed us man you know we're gonna you know and you know and like yeah how was shy he's gonna be there you know you know because there's gonna be all hell breaking loose man all right um genesis 49 and uh Three, Reuben, thou, sh thou art my firstborn, my might, and beginning on my strength, the excellency of dignity and the excellency of power. All right, so Reuben, you know, they were born first, or like they were the firstborn, but because he committed adultery by, uh, you know, sleeping with Jacob's concubine, you know, he didn't get that, that, that birthright, you know, it was uh, given unto uh, Judah. Because it's ultimately set up, you know, because uh, he cut a Messiah, he came out of the waters of Judah, right? And uh, we all come out of the waters of Judah, you know, through Adam unto the Heavenly Father. We all come out of that water, unstable as water. Thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to my father's bed. Thou the faucet, he went up to my couch. All right, this is Deuteronomy 33. And I'm gonna close just now soon. Get a couple more points. It said Deuteronomy 33 and 1. And this is the blessing wherewith Moses, the man of Yahweh, blessed the children of the children of Israel. It says like before his death, right? So like how Jacob, you know, he blessed his sons. You know, Moses, you know, he came back in that same in that same stead, right? So uh you know and uh that's gonna happen again you know that when the elect is gonna be uh is gonna be delivered you know and and they're gonna get you know every tribe is gonna get their different blessing you know by by uh masha you know moses you know moses which means draw out and he said the lord lord come from and he said the lord come from sinai and rose up from Seir unto them, He's, he uh, sh he shined forth from the mountain of Paran, and he s came with ten th with ten thousand of saints from the right hand with a fiery law for them, and yea, he he loved the people. All his all the saints are in thy hand, and they sat down at thy feet everyone shall receive of thy words right so this is our verse six let let reuben live and not die and let not his men be few right because reuben you know there is uh you know like they're scattered you know through uh you know florida you know georgia oklahoma you know through uh uh <laughs> bro throughout canada and and this and the states you know with the uh the cree the, the cree people you know they're very vast right and they were um a big clan and also a good uh series to watch is the 500 nations right that one's very good too um yeah Genesis 33 and 20 and of Gad he said blessed be he that enlargeth Gad he dwelleth as a lion and teareth and teareth the arm with the crown of his head right and that's what they did you know like they would you know uh, like they would have a uh, you know something sharp you know and they would cut and they would shake their hand you know and they had uh 
you know, like with the chiefs, right? And uh, basically, like that's why they have, uh, when you see a native, you know, like they have, uh, you know, that chief, you know, like they have uh, like the eagle feathers, you know, like a crown, you know, and, you know, so, um, you know, and he, and he, uh, and he provided the first part of himself because there is a portion of the lawgiver, right? So, uh, you know, Gad or whatever, a lot of them were, uh, you know, you know, that was, you know, like a lot of them were keeping the laws even in the new world. Was he, was he uh, seated and he came with heads of the people and he executed justice of the Lord and his judgments with Israel. Right? Alright. Yeah, I can't think. I just have other a lot of notes, a lot of uh, thing, boy. Uh, basically, you know. Northwest Territory, you know, these guys are up there, you know, they're Mayan, our, 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 you know, our people are up there, you know, and, uh, you know, they're doing all kinds of things, they're mining, you know, gold rush and, you know, killing our people, you know, doing all kinds of wickedness, man, so we know, we gotta, um, we gotta be saved, man. Yeah, but this is the uh, the black fur traders. This is uh, very good. All right, which are not black. All right, just call us Israelites, you know. But they're gonna keep calling us black. It says the black people within the history of the fur traders is rarely. Israeli considered black people were rarely in a in a position to write their own stories right goes to that but uh you could do your research as well but um there's a very good uh yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna share this in the description the black fur traders slack yeah Yeah, it says the black fur traders in Canada. It's on YouTube. I'm gonna uh, share this, and uh, and the black enslavement in Canada, where I share these links. So with that, um, that's pretty much it. Well, um, we get the scrap, the scripture revelation. 13 then I want to close well, Revelation 13 and 9 if any man have an ear let him hear he that leave into captivity shall go into captivity he that killed with this word must be killed with this sword here's the patience and the faith of the saints so that's it man we uh we know we had to fall we we you know we're still going through it you know like we're you know like we're not even in time of jacob trouble you know but basically like we're basically there we're approaching it you know and uh all health gonna break loose man and he, he, they have that tech like they already have their technology mastered and uh the only thing that's gonna save us you know is uh the lord having mercy and because it's I'm gonna get that Matthew 24 verse 22 all right this is the Lord and ex and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's sake those days should be shortened so we're approaching these times man because uh, if the Lord doesn't come man like you know like we're all gonna be doomed man so with that that's all praise do unto you how about Shemiah Shai Bashemakakwadash peace best of hope for members of the elect the bonds of the apostles of great millstone um, shalom. Hopefully this video is edifying. Shalom.